So we're in Cape Coral photographing the burrowing owls. We've got uh, a pair posing for us really nicely on the, uh, the outside of their burrow. Nice sand, beautiful warm light, just absolutely perfect to get some great images. Shooting in manual mode, 1,000, 1,000th of a second, F8, auto ISO, which is putting me at about 400 ISO. So just uh, as long as the owls cooperate, we'll keep shooting. Light is starting to go down just a little bit, but um, I'm going to probably bring my shutter speed down to about 500th of a second um, because I am using uh, the tripod. I've got my my vibration compensation off on the lens itself. Uh, if I get down to really low light, if they stay out, I may put it on even though I'm on the tripod if I'm at a 30th or a 60th of a second. Um, again, right now I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to go ahead and take it down to. 500th of a second F8 auto ISO. They're not moving. They're just there. They, they move their heads back and forth. They're looking for any predators that may be watching them. But the light is just absolutely, we're about 15 minutes away from sunset. Absolutely beautiful on these birds. Uh, there's a couple of burrows around the area, but this one is, is far enough away from any houses that we're going to get that last little bit of light on these guys. So I'm going to make sure we just stay with them. Um, let them soak up the sun. We're going to soak up some good pictures and we'll post all this stuff later. I've been doing some tight verticals as well as some horizontals uh, because you've got one owl in the background, you've got one in the foreground. Uh, they are a mated pair so I'm trying to just show that environment as well. Uh, but just a beautiful scene. Just perfect. So one thing that's worth noting as well, um, I'm trying a new camera to do the video today. I'm using the new uh, EOS RP, which is a full frame uh, mirrorless camera. I've got the Tamron 35 1.8 attached to it uh, with their adapter. And I'm just looking at something that can do the vlogging as well as some regular photography as well and give me good quality and I think this is this is so far been a really good option it's doing a great job so far once we get in the computer we'll see how it looks but I think we may have found a winning combination here so back to the owls so I decided to shake things up a little bit and come to Cape Coral in the morning and I'm in a neighborhood near a church and I'm photographing the uh, the burrowing owls again and I'm going to try to pan over a little bit here to let you see where the owls are actually at. Let's get it a little bit wider. You can see these uh, these stakes and uh, their perches and they're surrounded by these, these PVC pipes and the idea is to keep people out of course to mark it as a, a protected area. But the owls are, are out on the perches this morning um, there is an owlet in this particular burrow, so I'm hoping to, at some point in time, um, get that the owlet out as well. You know, get a few shots of it out. Um, the light is still pretty dark right now. I'm at like a 60th of a second F8, and I'm still around 4,000 ISO. So I'm hoping that, that I can get a little bit more light here very shortly. Sunrise is... Uh, 642, it's 644 right now, so the light should be starting to come up over the houses uh, to the east here very shortly. So the light's getting ready to peek up over the houses. You can just start to see it coming through the trees. Uh, the burrowing owls are over in here, in that area. Um, so far it's just the adults. There is an owlet that's somewhere in here uh, that we photographed the other day. I'm hoping that he comes back out this morning, um, but the light is just starting to get good. We're just starting to get some warm light.